Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tioli TV. Today we are doing another Photoshop tutorial where I'm just going to be showing you guys how to remove pretty much every, anything that you like from a single photograph. So we're working with a photograph from New York City and what we're going to be doing is trying to remove these lampposts that you see throughout the picture as they sort of trawl into the background. Now we're going to just go through the process of removing them and just getting a clean photograph. So the first thing you want to do is obviously just make sure that the photograph itself is unlocked so we can edit the stuff. Now because this one's quite small I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can actually see this a bit clearer. Now the tool you want to use is the lasso tool. Now from the lasso tool you basically you just want to slowly go around the object that you want to remove. So the first thing we're starting with is this lamppost so I'm just going to keep as close as I can to it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can touch up any mistakes afterwards. But we want to leave just a little bit of the uh, the edges around. We don't want to be like literally right against the actual side of it. Just want to leave a bit of the actual content of the uh, the photograph around it. Now the bit that we don't want to cut out is the actual part of the wall here. So I'm, this is where I'll actually keep it tight, just so we can try and sort of make it easier when we actually get rid of it. So after you've gone around the object, you'll see that you've actually got like the walking ants basically around it. So you've got the moving line. So this is the area that we're going to actually remove from. Normally in a photograph you can use the actual uh, eraser tool and sort of try to delete it and then essentially try and move bits into our paint over it. But this one, all we want to do is go to edit and fill and then from fill you want to make sure that you've got content aware selected and color, adapt uh, sorry, color adaptation and preserve transparency are both ticked, opacity set to 100% and the mode is set to normal. Once that is, click on OK and straight away you'll see it's actually removed it from the actual picture itself. Okay, so as you can see, this has been removed, but we've still got a few bits of areas. You can see it's a little bit blurry around the center bit, and we've obviously got a bit of the lamppost left, and there's a slight few minor lines in the actual skyline. So what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in and actually just go around it again, see if we can get a uh, a better result. So same as before, use the uh, use the lasso tool, go around everything. And then uh, obviously we're just going to go and repeat the process and hopefully get a better result. Unfortunately you know, that didn't pr provide a, uh, a better result. So not a problem. What we'll do is we'll actually go through a process where what we want to do is just deselect everything. So to deselect it's just to select and then deselect. Now we're actually going to use the clone stamp tool. Now from that, that basically, when you press down Alt, you'll see that the mouse changes, and then that's basically selecting the source. And as you can see as we move around, it's keeping a preview of where it was before. So as we're going through everything, we can basically copy over the top. And then what this will allow us to do is essentially touch up the uh, the remaining blurry bits that we can see in the actual image. Um, so as you'll just see, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pressing Alt a lot and just taking uh, basically tiny bits from around the edge because I want to basically blend it all in together so it looks natural. So there's none of this kind of almost just one part of that picture just sweeping across. I want to take as many different parts of, uh, of the image surroundings. And because we're doing this quite a lot, all I'm going to be doing is just speeding this up a bit just so we can get to the, uh, the end result for you guys to see. Okay, so what I've basically tried to do at the end of this is I've actually used the blur tool on a 25% to just go over the top where there's slight um, imperfections because I was just going over it quickly and then uh, when we zoom out I just wanted to see if it looked quite good. Now you can actually, because we know that we've removed that, we can see that it's a bit blurry there so it's obviously been photoshopped so we want to basically create a more realistic um, image from this. So I'm just going to go back into greater detail using the, the actual uh, clone stamp tool again. I'm just going to be going over this, just taking a little bit more from the sea to smooth out the edge and then also using the uh, the edge of either side of the actual 
uh, wall so where you can see we've actually got some clear bits there I'm gonna be using that to uh, to clone over and actually giving it a more smoother and more natural look and um, so it actually looks like it should be there so again I'm just gonna speed this up for you guys just so you can see the end result so you'll see a lot of these basically just trying to line up parts of the image with one another so it actually looks natural and like I say, it, you want to make sure it looks as normal as possible so it doesn't look any sort of bit odd or slightly blurry like we had before. So now when we actually zoom out to the picture, you can see it looks a lot better. So if we actually zoom right out to the original size, it actually looks really good. If we, uh, if we actually just skip, so we can actually just uh, actually look at the images side by side. You'll notice when we look at the one on the right hand side, this is the uh, the before and then obviously the one in the center is the current one that we're working on and I personally think that you can barely tell the difference you guys may disagree if you do obviously let me know in the comments below but I think that looks pretty good now obviously this is just using two tools this is literally the uh, content aware so that's uh, obviously highlighting what you want with the uh, with the lasso tool uh, you can actually use the pen tool as well if you want to do that if you if you find that easier If you're not so good at tracing around stuff or you don't have a graphics tablet you may wish to look into using the pen tool um, Which I will actually use in a little while what I'm just going to show you guys now essentially is just a quick way um, Using the pen tool this time actually I think I'm going to use rather than the lasso uh, the Same process using the edit fill content aware. I'm just going to go around the uh, the remaining lamp posts just quickly because these trails off into the background so there's not that much work actually needed and then I'm just going to remove the rest of these quickly so you guys can see what it looks like so again just going to speed this up so we can get to the end of it quickly for you guys And there you have it. So uh, if we just zoom out back to the original size, now you can see all of the uh, all the lamp posts are gone. I've used the same process on every single one of these like little lights across there. And if we just have a look at the before and after, so that's before, here's after. Now you can see it's quite clear to see the image, uh, the actual difference. So if we look side by side, you can see before we had all of these lamp posts going all the way down. Now we actually decided right we want to get rid of these from this image because they're a bit intrusive so we just want to remove them and then the one in the middle is where it's all been removed and job done that's all it is to it guys so um yeah i hope you like this video if you want to see more or if you want anything else uh if you actually have any ideas for tutorial videos or anything that you want to know how to do please drop a comment below and i'll try to do a tutorial for uh, your requests thanks for watching and uh if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe cheers guys thank you see you next time